okay, so last year we did a stream room reveal, so when I just built the room. Um, a lot has changed since then, it's come to the end of 2020, so I thought it was probably time that I showed you the update. So, welcome to the 2020 stream room. <laughs> notice from the original video which I think I have left a card up there somewhere and it's in the description is this unit just down to the left here was originally over here now it was kind of good because like when you stream and you got all the kind of the nice stuff on top that you can see in the video but there's not much floor space so I actually decided to move it over there so it gives me a lot more room to kind of move my desk my chair and everything around like so so that's the first big change. They've still got the unit, but it's in a different place. One of the other big changes as well is the desk. So, what, like I said, I literally just built the room when we did the original video, and I was basically just using what I had to hand. So we had two desks in here that weren't even matching, weren't even the right height, and it just looked freaking terrible. And it pretty much took the whole space of this wall, which was nice, because I could fit more on here, but uh, it just wasn't practical, it looked crap. So, I think every streamer has a desk from Ikea. Um, it's not one that goes up and down, it's not that fancy, but it is an Ikea desk. It's cheap, it's simple, and it's plenty of room, but it's not too much where I wouldn't have been able to put my unit there. So that's a big change. Um, what else have we got? So we've got a different monitor this time. These two are the same, the Samsung 24 inch curve, they're all 1080p. We had an IPS HP monitor last time. This one is an AOC. I can't remember the exact uh, model, but I'll put the links in the description below um, for you to check it out. It's um, still 1080p, but it's 144 hertz, so it's just slightly better refresh rates. Quite a bit more smooth um, when you play an FPS and other kind of like competition-based games, which I suck at anyway. So I just get to see. Uh, I've got less excuses, I guess. Um, so starting from over the here, we've. Kind of, I think in the last video I had all my samurai swords um, on their individual stands they came with all chucked onto here, which looks crap. I also don't think I had my Hattori Hanzo one. If anyone doesn't know the reference, this is the bride sword from the Kill Bill film. It's not real, it is a, a replica, but they are actual sharp bladed katanas, um, so they can do damage, I guess. Although that one I think was only ever unsheathed when I first got it. So the original swords that were on there are now on their own stand up on the wall, which I love. It, I get to sit here and look at these all the time, which are wicked. I have kind of thrown some random stuff up there. So I've got my GoPro strap there from when I went quad biking. The dirt is still on there. That was earlier this year. Got my uh, Jackfest cap from when I went to Jackfest Silverstone. And obviously we've got the ring light that's kind of set up there with the Logitech C920 camera, which I know a lot of people have DSLRs, I'm not at that level yet, but for what it is, it's a bloody good camera. Um, coming back down to this way, so this is a lot that's changed here. This computer side has changed pretty much in, in completion. So originally we had the um, the blue snowball, the little small black blue snowball. We finally got to get rid of that, that was USB. So we've now gone for an XLR mic, which is the Audio Technica AT2020, um, with just a basic boom arm and a uh, Behringer mixer, which it's completely overpowering for what I need. I think it's like a four channel mixer. We don't need something this big and this detailed, but it does the trick and I can play around with whatever I want. Um, hidden behind there, 
So during the lockdown, when well, I did a three month lockdown in the UK, we obviously couldn't go anywhere, we couldn't work or do anything. And um, I, I'm a big fan of driving, I am into my cars. So a lot of us went out and bought the Logitech, um, I think that's a G920 steering wheel setup with the shifter and the pedals. They were actually really hard to get up at the time, everywhere sold out and I struggled to get hold of it, but that kind of sits there and I'll pull that out whenever I want to play anything kind of racing wise. Um, Hyprex Cloud 2s is what I'm still using. I've had these for probably a year or two now and they're still one of my best favourite headsets I've ever used. Uh, what else have we got? We changed the keyboard and mouse. Originally I had the K55 I think in the original video, which I still have, but um, but if my camera person and daughter is what bought me this one uh, for Christmas last year, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It was, um, which is the K65. Um, so it's shorter, no number pad. I like the smaller size, mechanical, really nice. I had the M65 Pro before, and I've still got the M65 Pro, but it's quite heavy and clunky. And when you play playing FPS games, I like something lighter. So I've actually got the Harpoon, I believe it is. And something just lighter and easier to use in the meantime. I have my dust collector, which is the PS4 Pro. I think the last time I used this was for the Call of Duty, um, the Cold War beta. No, the Alpha. <clears throat> I didn't even play the beta. I played the Alpha because it was only on um, PS4 that they did it for. And ever since then, it's sat there. Basic Xbox and PlayStation controls for obvious reasons. And now for the main kind of party piece is a fully rebuilt computer. So when I did the first one, it was September 2019, I think. And then my computer survived around till Christmas time. And I think that's when it completely died on me. So I spent a few months without and put some money together and built this one. So I'll try and leave all the specs in the details uh, in the description below. But long story short, I'll give you a quick overrun of these. So it's got the um, it's an MSI um, Pro Gaming uh, motherboard. Um, DDR4 obviously, it's got 32 gig of the Corsair um, Vengeance, uh, 3200 DDR4, it's got a um, Ryzen 3700X with the all-in-one Corsair H100i I believe, it's got the uh, EVGA RTX 2060, it is only 2060 but it's still an RTX so uh, it's, it's not too bad, it's pretty good, it's running everything I need to. Loads of Corsair fans, which I think the SP120 RGBs with a Corsair case. And um, I think it's a Corsair 650 watt power supply unit. So it's not the, the highest echelon of specs, but I've not found anything that it's struggled to do so far. Compared to my last one, the rendering side when I do my videos, going from an hour to like five minutes. So it's huge how much difference it makes. And when you're streaming and gaming on the same rig, it seems to run pretty well, so I'm happy with that. My latest purchase is the Oculus Quest 2. Um, this is my first ever VR headset, and I'm absolutely blown away by it. I tried the PSVR a couple of years ago, and I really didn't get on very well with it. I played it for maybe less than an hour. I felt sick for two days straight. Uh, did not get on well with that. But this, getting my VR legs, having a bit of fun with that, and, uh, I love it. I think it's actually really, really good. I'm spending more and more time in it, so hopefully I'll get some more streams out. There's a couple of videos I think I've put out there already with VR. Uh, walking around towards the, the windowsill, I guess. I left the blinds like this because you get reflections, but I've got BB-8. There he is. I've got some Fallout figurines. I've got this freaking mental... I don't even know what to call it. With cobwebs on it. <laughs> um, I... I don't know, but it looks fun. Yeah. Yes. I, I could barely fit my hand in it. But I, we have a shop, or we had a shop that closed down now where I got all my swords from, and you get some really cool, like, uh, it's from like movies or, or games or shows. But this one here is like some kind of dragon blade thing, I guess. Um, completely blunt. But uh, it looks pretty cool, so that kind of sits up there. Got my look. Um, got one of the ghouls, and then we've got, uh, got Bowser, who again, I think that's one from the um, Builder Bear, um, so I think, was it, was it, was it, it was you who got it, wasn't and it? Taz. And Taz. Father's Day. So that's both my daughters got me that for uh, Father's Day, because when we always played Mario Karts, I always played Bowser. 
Um, and then we've got some kind of little bits of pieces up on the wall, like some movie memorabilia, Return of the Jedi uh, film pieces, um, Pulp Fiction, which is one of my all time, if not my favourite film of all time. And Never Ending Story, if anyone actually remembers Never Ending Story. <laughs> Got a big old long sword down there because I mean, why the hell not? Uh, I can't remember what film it's from. I don't know if it was Merlin or something similar. Um, but that's again, it's a big old blunt uh, long sword. Got some Legolas daggers on the wall as well, which I think I've knocked one of them on a plane VR. But uh, they're pretty cool. They're pretty sharp. But the creme de la creme, guys. The creme de la creme, right? This channel has gone places. You don't know. You haven't seen it. It doesn't look like it, but it has. Because we've got a silver YouTube play button. Yes, it's real. Don't question it. Of course it's real. Look at it. To prove that, to prove... Look at, look. We, we blurred it because of personal information. Official letter from YouTube to congratulate us on 100,000. Now, I only show, like, what I show on there because I don't want to be that guy. Show off, like, when we got 100,000. But, I mean... Credit where it's due, we did it, and thank you, we appreciate it. So that's the stream room, that's everything. Nothing else has really changed. We've got these funky lights, they do things when I stream, and it looks pretty. And I think everything else is the same, or isn't that interesting. So yeah, I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed. Stream Deck, more stuff I'm thinking of, you don't need to know, because everyone has one. But still, ta-da. Thank you very much for watching guys, I appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, because YouTube keep taking that off. And um, I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye -bye.